it's Tybug, and today we are giving my sim a makeover. And it's just gonna be a voiceover because we'll be going over CC content and obviously you won't be focusing on my face, you'll be focusing on the character. I also have a little bit of a headache going into a migraine, so if I sound a little uh, not as usual, that's why. But let's get started. I did make a Tumblr specifically for this so you guys can find all the CC content I used, but there was also CC content that I downloaded back when I first started playing and I couldn't find all of that, but I'll link the other simmers from YouTube that I used to get my content from and if you guys dive deep you may be able to find it but I wasn't able to. So uh, let's start with my favorite type of CC content which is the hair. And most of the custom content will have the um, creator on it, but some of them won't. But just know I didn't make any of this. Let's get some braids. So pretty, so pretty already. Luna's looking gorgeous. And I got a, another hair color variation of the braids because this one is all, I think, the EA palette. And then this one is the content creator's special palettes. Then we got a cute little bob. This is part of the Pufferhead pack. I will have this on my Tumblr page for sure. And this one you can have uh, tips of your hair dye. And this one is just the basic EA. Next, we have a Feral Poodles, which has a whole bunch of uh, colors. So this is uh, what it looks like. I prefer Maxis Match custom content, but this one looks a little bit... Um, Oh my god, I forgot the word for the other one. I, if I remember it while I'm editing, I'll put it on the screen now, but I prefer the Maxis Match um, custom content. Next, we got another A Hoob one. This is kind of similar to the Pufferhead one, but this one has a little bit of a braid and less bangs. And then this one is the variation of that one, so it has the dyes in it. And I will uh, show you guys the finalized outfits for each of these at the end, but right now I'm just going to show you all the content. This one, I love this one. This one comes with an accessory, so you get a streak. How pretty. I love it so much. You can customize the streak and you can customize how the hair looks. So bam, pink hair with a white streak. Next we have another a hoop. I have a lot of, of her or their content. So this is one of my favorites. I like love the little bun in the back. Then we got one with a headband. Just a straight with a little bit of a wave to it. Cute. <laughs> I'm trying not to say cute. And then this one is uh, their uh, color palette. I got them for boys, but I don't really have any boy sims yet. But we have one. We got two with the little cow lip. I don't, I think these are hydrogenous hairs, so don't mind. Don't mind. I love that one actually. And then here is the same as this hair, but with the colored content. This is gonna be a long video. This is just a basic hair. I love it so much because this is what my hair used to look like before I got bangs and I dyed it. Let's get some space buns. I have so much hair. I love all the hairs. Ooh, that's actually kind of pretty with the streaks. And this one, I don't know how to say their name. Ev Evoxry. It has a, a accessory so you can do the front bangs. That's what you'll see in this uh, cover picture, but this one had so many links on the download page that I didn't know what was what, so I just downloaded the base of it. And here are some color variations. I actually really like the uh, shiny gray mixed in with the hair. I know not everyone may like that, but I enjoy it. Gorgeous. Okay, this one is uh, by Carol. I, I have her on my uh, Tumblr page. And this is a little uh, med medieval look. Nice curly bangs. This looks so gorgeous on her. Ah, I'm in love with my Sim. Okay, this one is by Sim Mandy. And this is what my hair looked like when I had it in a bob a couple months ago, a year ago. I can't keep track of time, my dudes. Here's some more Ahoob. 
I am now realizing how similar this is to one of the other ones I downloaded. It said the bun is more uh, uniformed than the other one, but it's still pretty. And then here is a lovely little work bun with some bangs hanging out. Little nice, tidy, messy. This is by Okri. <laughs> I'm sure that's not how they were intending it to be pronounced, but uh, that is how we will pronounce it for now. Okri. <laughs> And then here's another variation of that by a different creator with a little bit of an undercut. This hair is based off of a pack I wasn't able to afford at the time, so I just downloaded it in custom content. That is the beautiful thing about custom content. You can just download hair that you can't actually buy. Next, we have a navy sims with some uh, boxer braids and two ponytails. Gorgeous, lovely texture. Nice, nice, nice. They think of everything. I don't know how they do this. Here's some black hair. It comes with a nice pin that you can download the um, customizer for. I did not. And then this ponytail is everything and more. I wish I could have a ponytail this cute with the two hairs hanging down. Nice front bang. So sleek and put together. And then here is a feral poodle one. I used to have a lot of hers, but um, I did a clean of my laptop recently, so I got rid of some of my CC. Okay, and last but not least is uh, Usagi hair from Sailor Moon. Uh, forgive my pronunciation of that because that was atrocious, but uh, it's so, so pretty. I don't think I'll use it on this sim, but I saw that there's a Star Wars pack coming out. Ooh! I completely glossed over this, but I do have a skin blend downloaded, and um, I've just seen it as like the common skin blend when I looked up skin blends, but uh, that's not on my Tumblr, but it will be on the um, other sites I'll be linking, the other Tumblr users I'll be linking. I just downloaded uh, an overlay of eyes. These are the Moony eyes. It's by the same creator who did the uh, Sailor Moon hair. <laughs> so this is the um, Moony eyes compared to the EA eyes. Do you see the difference? It's like so much more animated and very, very adorable. Look at the pinks. Ah, I love the red. This is giving me Bakugo vibes. Skin details. Okay, so I downloaded three freckles, but I'm not really sure how I feel about them. Here are just a splatter on the nose. This comes in only one color option, so it is a little bit reddish, but I think that's okay. This one is a more spread out. This has three options. Uh, so this is the darkest one, a little bit faded, a little bit more faded. I like this one the most, it's most natural. And then last but not least is uh, without the nose freckles. It's all by the same creator. And it only has one option for it as well. Oh, I found the headband, gosh darn it. But it's basically the headband, but you can customize the colors. So this is part of the puffer head pack. It's just a little Merlin's hat. <laughs> and you can customize the colors. Next is this little, um, kind of like a paperboy hat. I think it's very cute. And it comes with a ton of color options. That's what I love about CC content is they always have so many color options so it can go with any outfit. Next we have an actual witch's hat. So this is the Merlin's hat, this is the witch's hat. And maybe I'll do like a Halloween season. Just something cool and fun. So we have these, um, oh my God. Definitely hollow ears. I mean ears, <laughs> earrings. <laughs> and they come in different colors. I think they're very pretty. They have a little shine to them when you turn. Next, we got some bat ears. I'm very excited for spooky season and I'm thinking of what I can do for a video in Sims with it. So these are some bat earrings. They have a little bit of shine to it and they come in a couple of colors, not that many, but they're spooky colors. Next, we got some uh, Monstera leaf earrings. These are so pretty. Next, we got some eyeglasses because I love 
my glasses in real life right now, so I wanted uh, my characters to have some cute glasses. And they come in a whole bunch of different colors. Some are matte, some are a little bit shiny. Next is, um, these are like the most popular eyelashes I've ever seen everywhere. These are the, I won't even attempt to butcher that, but there are three versions and they all have different types of lashes. I won't go through every type because they have a gazillion, but here, I can't get any closer to her face, but these are, I would say, are the more natural kind. And they come in blonde, black and blonde, and black. But each one has a different style to it. These are the more dramatic ones. This is the side view. When you use these eyelashes, I would recommend getting rid of um, the eyes that have the EA eyelashes on it because it can kind of block the view of it. I'll be doing that in a second when I show you guys my finalized uh, sim and all her outfits, but for now this is just what you'll see. Some of them have top and bottom lashes and some of them only have top lashes. And this is the final one of the eyelashes and this one has some of the fun ones with like some feathers, some polka dots, white, rainbow, it's got it all. Very pretty. Next is just a little puffer head scarf. It comes in the colors of the houses. Next is a little time turner necklace and it comes in different colors as well. That's also in the pufferhead pack. And last but not least in the accessories is my favorite choker. This is um, in the Halloween pack I have on my Tumblr, not by me, by an amazing creator. There's a little bit of clipping at the edges, but I don't mind at all because I love the design of this so much. It's very, very minimal, but you see it does a little bit of a shadowed eyelash, a shadowed, what is it called, eyeliner. So it's part of that new trend, the uh, fox eye trend. It's just like you use eyeshadow to make your eyeliner so it's a little bit subtler. This is part of a Halloween pack as well. And these are just a whole bunch of very pretty eyeshadow shades. Next is this uh, blush. It's a cutesy girl blush with, that comes with the butterflies. It's just different shades of blush. This one. I feel like I need to change the lips on my sim a little bit, but she will do for now. It's just different colors of lip gloss, because we love a glossy lip. Next we got a kind of like an ombre lip, this is also part of the Halloween pack. And see it has a darker outline, and then it kind of goes faint in the center. Next is some Halloween face paint, because I love Halloween, got the kitty cat, uh, a ventriloquist, a don't know what that is. Little, I love this. this is how subtle it is. A little Frankenstein zombie action. Gorgeous. Spiders. Okay, this is for the arm. She's wearing pants right now, but it has different um, scars and different ways so it looks like your body was kind of stitched together like Frankenstein. And last but not least is some kawaii blush. It's just like a little highlighted. <laughs> this is just a Plain old tank top, a little cropped tank top. Comes in a couple of different colors. Next we got a sweater from Pufferhead. They did so good on this pack. I love it. It has a whole bunch of different variations. Another Pufferhead um, long sleeve top. Different colors. And another Pufferhead uh, jersey tee. They have the uh, symbols that they made for the Pufferhead houses. So if, they have like the whole story when you download the pack, so you'll you'll know what's going, oh hello, sorry. Don't look at her. You'll know what's going on. Next is just a tucked in tee for also a Pufferhead pack. Same deal, lots of options. Next is this cute little medieval stylized top. I love the detail in the back. It's so, so pretty. We got some puffed sleeves and it comes in a variety of colors. Next is this um, kind of cropped hoodie with mesh sleeves. 
Lots of colors. This was part of a Bratz content pack, I think. Love, love this top, one sleeve top. Look at the texture on that. You can like see the lines. It's gorgeous. It comes with kind of pastel-y colors. Next is the, this is also part of the Bratz pack. Kind of puffed layered tank top. Lots of options. You got some plaids, got some plains. Here's a corset top. A little spicy for ya. With some flared sleeves. Um, I kind of hate the camo, but to each their own. Love, love, love this top. I am really into the puff sleeves right now. So many colors, great detail. Next, we got some tied tops. Tons of colors. This is part of a witch pack I got a while ago. I couldn't find it for my Tumblr to download again, but it's gorgeous. Lots of colors, great detail. Next, we have this mesh kind of top, a tube top. A lot of these are cropped. If you can tell, I love the cropped look. Just spectacular. Next, I got some bodysuits because I love bodysuits because of my time in ballet. These are, um, they seem very conforming to the skin, like it was just painted on there. But I think it looks good because look at that. Look at her form. She looks like a a rock star. Comes in different colors. Next is a basic tube top. Just great to pair with anything. Skirts, shorts, pants, you name it. Another cropped tank top. Lots of colors, pastels, basics, you name it. This is a kind of patchwork jacket. I was scared this was going to have a lot of clipping in it because it seems very detailed but it is spectacular. The buttons are a little iffy, but who can blame them? I mean, gosh, this is gorgeous. Love the color palette. I wish I had this in real life. If anyone wants to make this for me, I will buy it. <laughs> and then next is this top I'm kind of iffy about. It was in the sports kind of section of custom content. Comes with a lot of colors though. And next is the final tank top. It's very similar to this one, but with a, I think this is an A-line. See, I don't know a lot about fashion. I, I have other things in my life that I spend more time on and fashion isn't one of them. I wish it was, but it is what it is. But yes, this is this top. It comes in the same color palette as the other uh, tank tops I showed you. So we have the always the favorite, the puffer head. They're a little bit, um, I wouldn't want to say floppy, but they're not as form-fitting. Comes with a ton of options. Ooh, I love this. Look at that detail. Next, we got a bathing suit. I really, ooh, does she have a, look at that detail. I think this is like one full blend and then they left a t-shirt uh, kind of blend on it, but I, it still looks fine. I didn't notice that before, hello. You see what I'm seeing? Yeah. Um, yeah, but from far away. Okay, yeah, you can kind of still see it. I don't know about that. It's okay. Different color options, just basic swimsuit. Next is this nice little baby doll dress. I tried these on in real life before, and they don't look good on me at all. But I love the way it looks on her. Next is this little form-fitting... Oh, hello, hello, where'd all my stuff go? Ah, she's naked. Form-fitting... I want to say A-line, but I know someone in the comments is going to be like, that's not an A-line. But it comes in different colors. It has a nice little button detail. Next is this little witchy outfit. I don't know why I would think this is witchy, but it just, it, it reminds me of a witch, okay? Like a modern day witch. Nice little tie. You can see her collarbones. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Mwah. Next is a little butterfly clipped detailed dress. It's short, but it's gorgeous. I need to stop saying gorgeous. I stopped saying cute and now I'm saying gorgeous. This dress is something you would see on Doll's Kill. I haven't been on Doll's Kill, but I think it's something you would see on Doll's Kill. Has a nice little corset with a t-shirt dress moment. Great colors. Next we have the ever so famous strawberry dress by Jollybean comes in different color options, but the first is the classic pink. Next is this uh, 
kind of, uh, I don't know how to describe this at all. You know what, I, you, you can see it. <laughs> Pretty. I love the way the top is designed. This is so very in style right now, this sweater with like the kind of schoolgirl skirt. I love turtlenecks. I love turtlenecks, but it's too hot here for me to wear turtlenecks. Comes with a lot of color options. And here we have a little corset dress. This came in the witch pack I mentioned earlier. Comes in a lot of colors. I think the black is the classic. First up, we got a nice knee length skirt also from Pufferhead. Comes in a huge variety of colors. Got some high waisted shorts. I got a whole bunch of high waisted stuff because I like high waisted. High waisted is in style. Next, we got some flared pants. These are coming back in style. I used to wear flared pants all the time when I was younger, so I'm so excited. It has a kind of like a cargo um, detailing, so it looks like you can detach it at the knees and up here. Not a huge fan of that, but I still think it's cute. <laughs> this skirt, oh, I'm obsessed. Tons of colors, plaids, planes, you name it. So we have some kind of frayed shorts, high-waisted as well. You know the gist. Here are some cuffed shorts. Great detailing. Here are some little, I think these are called Bermuda shorts. Not 100% sure, um, but they look great on her. Here are a uh, cargo kind of style skirt. I'm not really sure. Different colors. Cute. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I have leg warmers. I love leg warmers. <laughs> I w just started wearing them in ballet last semester. And uh, let me tell you, it was a game changer for some of my injuries. So first we have the classic pump heel, pump heeled boot. I wish I had a pair of these in real life. Here are some platform, I don't know how to describe these but they're part of the puffer head pack. I don't want to say school shoes, but they look like school shoes in my mind. Come in different colors, but they're mostly like neutral colors. Next, we got another puffer head. I for, oh, they're not clogs, but they're similar to clogs. I forgot what they're called, but same color scheme, classic, great for anything. Here we have some platform combat boots. This is part of the Bratz pack, I think it was. We have these um, simple strappy heels. We got black, gold, kind of mix. So now I'm gonna take a moment to design my Sims outfits for all the weathers, and I'll come and show you guys that in just a moment. And here is my updated Sim, she's got in a beautiful makeover. Here is her first everyday look. She's got some nice natural makeup makeup. <laughs> her choker, her cute top skirt, a little dressed up everyday look. Then we have a second outfit. This is a more dressed down everyday look. This is more to my personal styling. Got a cute tank top, her shorts, Bermuda shorts, Converse, nice cute braids, um, very basic shadowed blush, some cute earrings, stylish but simple. Then for her formal wear, she's a little medieval, little fancy schmancy, but also casually sophisticated. Next we got Sporty. This is basically the same as how I had it before, just I um, gave her some cuter hair. She has her freckles and her eyelashes. Our night clothes is where her geeky comes out a little bit. She's got her puffer head shirt and just some casual hair, no makeup. Um, her eyelashes, I'm just gonna say those are her natural eyelashes but that is what she's looking at for night. And for her party look, we're bringing out the devilish side of her. She's ready to party. She's ready to rule the world. She's got some fierce red makeup, some out of this world eyelashes, 
gorgeous, dressed to the nines, ready to knock some guys and girls' socks off. For Swim, she is a little bit dressed up, just in the makeup. You know, she's got to flaunt that gorgeous eyeshadow, some natural lashes, cute little messy bun, just in case she doesn't want to get her hair wet, but she wants to get her body wet, because um, of course she's going to play mermaids. Hot weather, she's all casual. Maybe she's going to walk the beach. She's just effortlessly beautiful nice simple makeup because you know it's going to be hot you don't want it to melt off just a uh, very sleek so gorgeous stop saying gorgeous a very sleek uh, ponytail <laughs> i couldn't think of another word and just some basic flip-flops because everyone has flip-flops and for cold weather i did two outfits um one this one because it kind of reminded me of hawks from bna BNHA and I couldn't resist myself. She's got her newsboy hat, a little uh, pinkish maroon hair going on, some nice orange shadow to knock the feathers off of him, the matching jacket, and then some nice warm boots because you know she's been trekking through snow and I've had her in sweatpants before, so we're stepping it up. And for her other outfit, oh, what is that hair? My girl, it's stunning. She's got some dark and sultry makeup, some in-your-face hair, look at me, a nice, cute, sophisticated, warm-weather dress with some leggings because, you know, it is cold. She's got some leg warmers and her snow boots. She is ready for the world. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Luna Tipton. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my content haul. I am sorry if you have a hard time finding any of the content. I will try my best to upload it all to my um, Tumblr account if I do find it. If not, I'm so sorry, but these this is all the co custom content I have. I also am considering updating two times a week with my YouTube videos. So the Monday would be the usual upload and then on Thursdays I'm thinking of doing exclusively video game content right now the only game I'm playing is Sims but that would be my plan I'll see how my schoolwork is going and what the interest is for you guys I'll post the poll on my Twitter and see how long I can have that running for but that's my announcement I don't remember if I said I had an announcement at the beginning of the video but if you last this long thank you so much for watching I hope you guys have an awesome time. I hope you're healthy and safe. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if there's anything else you want me to do with Sims content. Um, yeah, that's all. Love you guys. Bye.